already I'm messing up here. Let me up. Okay, I guess that's right. All right. Oh, me. Sorry about that. Um, good evening. Um, I gotta start getting ready for work here in a few minutes, but uh, I took a quick browse on the uh, forums and uh, I found another good question, another good uh forum topic here from True Faith eighty seven. Um, to start with, I'm not, I'm not trying to call out or expose, embarrass, etc., any of these guys, but uh. Like I've said before, I find it easier for me to just simply talk it out. And already I'm messing up. Microphone goes here, Joe. I find it easy. I find it easier to just simply talk it out rather than have to go through what I did early and uh had a typed on a typed on a blog post that uh probably took me about as long to make that as it did to stream on a work night about an hour, hour and a half. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. Um he had this question, jump potions, several months in. Uh, I'm assuming he's, uh, they're not actually potions themselves, if I'm understanding this correctly. It's the ones where, uh, you can pay, like, 25 bucks, and you can level one class to 60, I think it is. Or you can pay, uh, another 25 bucks, and you can, uh, you can just skip that whole storyline all the way to level 50 or 60 or one of those, but, uh, But I'll, what I'll what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and go down the post, possibly more of them, and then just comment on them. So we're several months into the era of wow, had these. You could uh you could pay sixty bucks and uh level a guy from level one to like level hundred, I think, or in the Drainer expansion it was level ninety. And in Legion, I think it's 100. Um, which I, to me, the money you spend can save you a lot of time. So it's very much worth it. And as a nice added bonus in WoW, you had uh, two maxed out professions, which would, which actually took a lot longer to level those than it did to work on the quest, if you worked on the quest line. So that's a. Uh, that 60 bucks you had to spend was money very well spent. Um, as far as here, or here, let me, so I don't get too, too ahead of myself. Do they still feel like a slap in the face? Um, it would depend on the person. I mean, yeah, some people, you know, some of the gamers who probably never played this game before has no clue how to play it. You know, because they're probably tired of the whole, tired of the whole drudgery of going through the storyline and going through all that leveling up. Um, but when they use the jump potion, they, you know, they run one of my dungeons. They have no clue how to play their class and make things a living hell for everybody else. And yeah, I have a problem with that. But on the other hand. I've, I've seen many players who don't use jump potions that are just as bad. So, yeah, it's, it done, it, yeah, I'm trying to find the right, I'm trying to find the right words. It, it doesn't matter. Bad players exist in all forms. Do they have merit in some situations? You bet. Uh, if you've ever done the level 50 quest line, uh, that's like about a hundred quests that you have to go through and mucho mucho cutscenes that you have to endure I mean yeah I had jump potions got some merit for that um, in my case um, I did the one on I spent 25 bucks to skip all the uh, heavens war quest line because uh, in my case about there was about five uh, five dungeons there's about five dungeons that I have to go through and um, with the exception of one of them, the other four are not level synced or not eye level synced, which means I'd be I'd be running wild dungeons, and I am no fan of that. After enduring four and a half years of that, I am in no mood to go through that again in here. So yeah, I for I ponied up to twenty five bucks to skip all that. They are a mixed pot of good and bad, and that, I'm the same way too. 
I think you, uh, I think you should at least play the game once to some, I'd say, to at least level 50. Don't have to do the storyline or anything. I wouldn't, I mean, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy, but they should at least play enough to, to get to that point to where they're at least, at least competent with their class and with how the game plays and whatnot. Which I, I pretty much mentioned that. They let you catch on play with your fans, friend. They let you, and they, for people like me, it lets me skip uh, content that's not le that's not eye level synced. So, but they did not teach you to the class you paid to level, which I agree with that. Um, I think WoW had something had had a stipulation or something like that. You have to at least gotten one character to max level after that you could spend all the money you want in leveling all the I'm just quick leveling all those other guys up <clears throat> you can pay like 600 bucks to have 10 characters leveled to 100 I mean I ain't got that kind of money but there gave a moderate level version of Hall of the Novice. I don't, I've only done Hall of the Novice one time, so that goes over my head. Oh, no, I just, chance and time to learn the class. Okay, and again, I'm not, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to invade anybody's privacy or anything like that, but I'm just, again, it's easier for me to communicate it just by speaking it rather than sitting here. You know, I'll be mean, spending more time. It's, it's faster for me to just speak it off than I have to sit here, spend all this time typing it all out. I'm on the fence with this. What are the what are the stipulations for um, using a jump using a jump potion? Is the fact that you can only do it one time. Whereas in WoW, you can do it as many times you want. But what they did on there is theirs is uh, at least twice as expensive as it is on here. Maybe um maybe one. One alternative in this game is to just jack up the price on it from like 25 bucks to 50 bucks. Then you can level as many as you want. I, mean, I could, based on that, hell yeah, I'd be using it, I'm using it more than once. I mean, I mean I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be leveling a goatee here sometime soon too, and it, it's it's not the fun. I mean, it's not exactly the funnest class in the world to level, but I got a whole bunch of uh. I got a whole bunch of right side accessories, like level 50 plus accessories that I crafted myself. And um, they can uh, they can also be equipped by Dragoon, so that's pretty much the only reason I'm leveling him. Because I don't want all that stuff I crafted to go to waste. So I'm trying to get him leveled up, so get some use out of those before I delete, get rid of them permanently. Pay to be able to skip that leveling process, but be able to get to that fun part. Yep. Um, this must be something new on here. You know, something new for Legion. They didn't have this back when I played. I played uh, I played to the end of the Drainer expansion, Warlords of Drainer, and then after that I just switched to this game. Um, again, I'm on the fence on this. I think, um, I mean, on one end, it's both being able, only being allowed, being allowed to level or to use this on one class is both a blessing and a curse. I mean, you got to choose wisely, but then again, most all those DPS classes, I'm not even going to touch. They, I mean, queue times are too long. Um, even in, even trying to queue for a palace of the dead can take a long time to queue up for. So, yeah. 
Labs don't give and running labs don't give enough labs don't give enough experience and a face or two hit and miss. So on something like this to really get me get me into DPS classes, I'd rather I'd rather have an unlimited amount. And um Palace of the and even Palace of the Dead will get dull and boring after a while and even that's hit and miss. I want to say it's almost worse than Dungeon Finder because you don't, I mean, even the roles you get are totally random. You can have four DPS classes. <laughs> Good luck with that. But, but I, <clears throat> anyway, I got to go ahead and cut it off because uh, <clears throat> I definitely have to start getting ready for work now. But this is just something I wanted to get out there. ASAP before I forgot later on. What? Anyway, I'm out of here. Uh, take care and see you next time.